Well, as parents continue to call for a crosswalk at a dangerous intersection, it looks like they may be one step closer to getting what they want. 12-year-old Jonathan Smith was hit and killed near Fort Apache and Mall three weeks ago. Since then, the community has come together to help the boy's family. 8 News Now reporter Shakela Avaranga shows us how. Today, Wet n Wild is holding a fundraiser for the family of 12-year-old Jonathan Smith. We've got one dollar of every ticket sold today kicking back to the family to, to help continue to educate and support support the cause that we're all here to talk about today. This is where Smith was hit and killed three weeks ago. Wet and Wild, Fest Middle School and another local park are all within feet of each other. We want to keep Johnny's memory alive and in, in doing that we can we can educate. Right. The county is currently conducting a traffic study in the area, which includes watching any traffic patterns while Wet n Wild is open. It's a very popular park, and, and we, intend to, we intend to grow the attendance here. With, with the summer months here and, and the sheer the volume of traffic in the area, it makes it a concern to everybody in the area. Slip bracelet. These reflective wristbands can be seen by drivers some 700 feet away. Erin Breen and her team are giving them away for free. Let's look at how we build our streets, where we put crossing guards around schools, the speeds we allow people to go, where children are present. And it just, we need to do better as a community. Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now. Well, so far this year, there have been 20 pedestrian fatalities here in the valley.